Hi Stampers! Welcome to Grading Inspirations. My name is Kim Tolbert and I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Thank you for joining me. Today I have two Christmas cards to share with you. And these cards were made using the Tidings and Trimmings bundle, which includes this stamp set, and also the coordinating dies. So they're the Christmas trimming dies, and they have um, dies that will cut out the stockings, this star right here, and several of the other images, plus some other dies, kind of standalone dies. There's some holly, some berries, and here's the ribbon, and just some leaves and some other berries. And these stars, I love the stars. So that's the stamp set and the dies that I used. And then I used the coordinating designer series paper and it's called Tidings of Christmas. And these are the designs I chose. These two for this card and this one for this card. I also used on this card some of the gold um, specialty paper. There's gold and rose gold that come in the package. I used the gold for these berries. I also used some of the holiday rhinestones. And also I used some of this um, ribbon for this card. And it is the metallic ribbon with gold and cherry cobbler. And then for this tag, I used the tailor-made tag dies. Now, everything that I used on these cards comes from the annual catalog, with the exception of this ribbon. I believe this ribbon is in the current mini catalog. So, I, as you can notice, these cards are kind of sit, sitting up a bit. That's because these cards are what I call a standalone card. They will stand up on their own, and I know that's very difficult to see <laughs> on the um, video. Now, last year I made these cards for one of my holiday projects, and it was on my blog. The only difference is this year my scoring dimensions for the landscape card are just a little bit different. So on my blog, I will reference last year's blog post so you can decide for yourself which scoring measurements you like the best. The ones for the portrait version are exactly the same as last year's. Okay, so I thought that we would just kind of walk through how I scored the cardstock, the cutting and the scoring. And on my blog, on the post for November 2nd, 2021, for the Tinsel Time Tuesday post, I will have all the supplies listed and the cutting measurements and a few more instructions on how to put together these cards. And in the description of this video, there will be a link to my blog. So you can go over there and find out um, what all the measurements are. You don't have to remember them from this video. Now, one thing I did want to say about this card, when you flip it over from the back, and you open it up, there's a panel for you to write a message or your name. Now, also, these panels, if you like, you could put designer series paper on them. And these middle panels, Right here, you could also put designer series paper on them if you like. I just chose not to. And here on the portrait version, it's the same. And then on the back. So let's walk through how to score this cardstock so you can get this fold, this standalone fold for your cards. I'm going to pull out my scoreboard. And I have some cardstock here. This is Evening Evergreen, and it is cut at four and a quarter by 11. And this, of course, will be for the landscape card. 
And here is some crumb cake. It's eight and a half by five and a half, and this will be for the portrait version of the card. Let's start with the landscape. And we'll just put it right up here at the top. And we're going to need to score at two and three quarters. So here's, I'm not sure if you can see it. Here's two, one quarter, two quarter, three quarters. So we scored at two and three quarters. And then we're going to score at four and an eighth. So here's four and one eighth. I think I need to just a little bit more. There we go. Now you can go on down the scoreboard and score to different measurements, but I just like to turn it and score exactly like we did before. So we'll score it two and three quarters. And then we will score at four and one eighth. And there's that scoring. Now we'll do the, um, the portrait version. We'll have our crumb cake. Get my stylus and we will score. Remember, this is eight and a half by five and a half, and we're going to score at two inches. And then we're going to score at three and one eighth inches. And just like before, we flip it, score at two inches, and then we score again at three and one eighth inches. And that's all the scoring. Let me put the scoreboard away. Then we'll have both of our card bases. And for me, it's just easier to start in the center because you know this is going to be, right here is your focal panel. So we fold this down. So it's a mountain fold. And then we do the same thing on this side. And it's always good to use your bone folder. Go along those folds to get a really nice crease. Okay, so we have that. Now, both of these, the score line and this score line, it's gonna be a valley fold, so fold this up. And we'll do the same thing on this side. And there is the card base ready to decorate however you choose. Now let's get that portrait version and it's the same thing. Both of these score lines right here will be mountain folds. We fold it and we're ready to do the valley folds on the ends. And there is that card base. So there's the portrait and the landscape version. And as I said, I used the Tidings and Trimmings bundle and the coordinating dies and um, designer series paper, but you can use any designer series paper, any stamps that you like. You can make them birthday cards, anniversary cards, any kind of card at all but I just thought these were really cute cards. And as I said, they do fit in the Stampin' Up! medium size envelopes, which again is the A2 size envelopes. Thank you so much for joining me today. Until next time, stamp happy.